Let's talk about the tool palette you have at the bottom of the open board window. This palette allows you to switch between tools quickly. In the open board documentation, it's called the stylus toolbar. So like we mentioned in a previous video, the stylus button in the upper left corner of the window will toggle your view of the, style, of the, the toolbar palette. So I can either hide or display it. The first tool that you have access to on the palette is the pen tool and that allows you to write on pages. So I can write on my page. The next tool that I have access to is the eraser and so I can erase what I've done and I'm going to just make it a thicker eraser so you can see. So I erased what I did. I'll just undo that and bring it back. The next tool I have access to on the palette is the highlighter tool. So when I tap the highlight tool, the color choices change to lighter colors in the upper left corner of the screen, which gives me different options for uh, my highlighter color. I can also change the line thickness just like I can with the pen. So I chose a yellow highlighter and I can highlight over top of anything I have on my active open board page that I'm looking at. I'm going to just undo that. Next tool I have access to is the select and modify objects tool. It's the black arrow and by tapping that it allows me to select objects on my open board active page. So I can choose an individual letter that I wrote or if I had a graphic or something on the page I could choose that. It also allows me to draw a marquee selection around objects that I've placed on my page and select them all at once. You'll see that when you do a selection with the select and modify objects button on the tool palette you get gray bounding box around whatever you've selected with that tool and you get different options that you can perform with that bounding box. So I can resize, I can delete, I can rotate and we'll have a different video going over those options because they're important options to know about. If I tap off of the selection I made somewhere on a blank section of the page, the bounding box goes away. The next tool I have access to is the interacting with objects or magic finger button and that allows me to select and move objects around on the page without getting that gray bounding box you saw with the select and modify objects tool. So I can move stuff around on my page without worrying about coming up with other options that will I could, could make me delete or change what I'm working with. The next tool I have in the tool palette is the move page tool. It's a full hand instead of the pointing hand that we just worked with. And so what that allows me to do is uh, move my whole page around. So if I have a wider page or if I've zoomed in or out, I can move to view specific sections of my page. If I double tap that full hand, it will uh, recenter my page to the way it looked before I started moving the page around. The next options I have available to me in the tool palette are the uh, zoom in and zoom out tools. And so um, I'm going to move the library out of the way by using its tab up here so that you can see some options that come up when we work with the magnifying tools, the zoom in and zoom out tools. So if I tap the magnifying glass with the plus in it, it will allow me to zoom in on specific sections of the page. When I work with the magnifying tool, you'll notice in the bottom right corner of the of the open board page that I'm working on, um, and this is why I moved the, the library 
tab out of the way is that you see in the bottom right corner I have a gray box and it tells me the magnification that I'm zoomed in on or zoomed out on. So if I want to quickly get back to normal view I can tap that gray box in the bottom right corner and it takes me back to regular view level and if I zoom out I see I get that gray box in the bottom right corner again so I can tap that and get back to regular view options. Next to the zoom in and zoom out tools I have a laser pointer tool so if I'm presenting in front of a group of people I can have a virtual laser pointer so it doesn't do anything to the objects on the page it just allows me to point out things on the page as if I were using an actual laser pointer in my hand. The next option that I have on the tool palette will allow me to draw straight lines which is great if I'm in a math class or if I'm drawing a diagram or something like that. Next to the straight line tool is the text tool and by selecting it and then tapping on uh, the open board page that's active I can begin typing text on the page. So that's good if you're not a a neat printer or if you want to have stuff prepared ahead of time before you get to where you're presenting with the open board file that you're that you're using. You'll see I get the gray bounding box again. If I double tap I can select the word that I typed and then I have options where here if I tap the F in the circle I can change the font options, change the type of font, the how, whether it's bold or normal, change the size. I can change the color by clicking on that color wheel so I can even add custom colors. I can make the font smaller by tapping the minus button, make the font larger by tapping the plus button and I can change the um, uh, orientation of the text so I can either make it left aligned, the alignment, I can either make it left aligned, center aligned, or right aligned by continually tapping that alignment button. If I tap off of uh, that text anywhere on a blank part of the screen it allows me to deselect that text. The next option that we're going to talk about is the selection tool. It allows me to take a screenshot of a section of the open board page that's active that I'm looking at right now. So if I tap that selection tool and then I just drag and draw a selection marquee around certain objects on my page, it allow it'll give me um, an extra little menu that will either allow me to add that selection to the current page, that screenshot, add that screenshot to a new page, or actually add it as an image to my library. And we'll talk about the library in a different video. So let's add the, the screenshot that I took to a new page. So if I tap add to a new page, it creates a new page and this is the screenshot I took of that original page I was working on. And it makes it a screenshot so if I either use that magic finger or the select and edit tool it'll allow me to move it around like it's an image. I'm going to get rid of that page. And so that is uh, the stylus toolbar or the tool palette.